Hello there. I'm so glad you're here. As you can see, our island is in desperate need of bees and plants. No one on this island has the parkour skills required to make it through the treacherous entrance to Honeycomb Hollow. A dear old friend of mine lives on Honeycomb Hollow and has all the knowledge you'll need to introduce the bees to this island. Follow me to Poppy Isle Docks. There should be a boat waiting for you. Wait, you're not a bee. Bees hide away during rain and at night, so you can't possibly be a bee. Also, you're too big. I need to get out of this rain. Quick, follow me back to my home for shelter. My wings are all wet. Now I can't use them until they dry off. Bees have the right idea. That's why you'll never find them outside if it's raining. If you're going to make it on this island, then you'll need to learn the way of the bee. Oh, it looks like the rain is stopping. Follow me. I want to show you something. Achoo! Hmm, pardon me, my hay fever is still in full swing. Where were we? Oh, yes. Here is your first lesson. Do you see all of those flower fields? They're the result of all the bees' hard work on this island. Bees travel from flower to flower, gathering and spreading pollen everywhere. Pollen is vital for plant growth. When a pollen-covered bee visits a crop, it grows faster. That's why I plant all my crops near bees. Right, let's continue learning. Come this way. Bees, like me, will only attack if they feel threatened, so don't do anything to cause alarm. You need to be very careful around bees, because if a bee stings you, it will die. Bees are attracted to flowers, so if you want a bee to follow you, just hold a flower near it. Keeping the bee population count high is vital for a healthy ecosystem. 
Bees love flowers so much that if you feed flowers to bees, they will breed and create even more bees. Another beautiful bee for Honeycomb Hollow. I think we'll name it... Buzz! I haven't used that name yet. Yes, Buzz will do just fine. You did a great job out there. Did you work up an appetite? I'm starving! Let's get something to eat. That bee nest is dripping with honey. Gather some honey. We know we can gather honey. It's a great cure for hunger and an even better cure for poison. If you're poisoned, just eat some honey and it will take care of the rest. I'm a bit tired of it though. I would give anything for some cake. Right, back to work. Come with me. I need your help with something. As you can see, there are no bee nests in this area. That's because natural bee nests can only be found on trees. The south facing side of the tree to be exact. Beehives face south because otherwise, bees would have a hard time keeping track of time. They can always work out when to start and stop working as long as the hive entrance is facing south. Now. Let's build a beehive here since the bees can't. We're going to need three honeycombs and six wooden planks. You can use these shears on bee nests to get honeycombs. As for the wood planks, you can find some inside the shed that's just over there. Here is also another campfire. Don't forget to place it under the beehive before shearing for honeycomb. Return to me once you have crafted the beehive. What fine craftsmanship! This beehive is magnificent! This isn't the first time you've crafted something, is it? With that said, I have nothing left to teach you. You now know the way of the... Achoo! Ahem. <clears throat> B. I will show you a shortcut back to Poppy Isle when you're ready. I'm sure you have a lot of business to take care of. When you're finished on the island, come talk to me in my nest. Uh, I mean home.
Right, it's time for you to head home. I've noticed your island is a little barren, so I prepared this for you. I have sent the beehive you crafted earlier with some bees inside back to the mayor. Also, have some flowers and these saplings to take back with you. All right, friend. Follow me and I'll show you the easy way home. Here, take this elytra, and like a true bee, fly back to your island with everything I have given and taught you. And remember, take care of the bees and they'll take care of you! You're back! And it looks like you got everything! We haven't a moment to lose. Meet me on top of Poppy Isle Hill! Let's start with the beehive. Place it down so we can get some bees on this island. We have bees now! That brings a tear to my eye. This is the start of a new era for Poppy Isle. Next we should place the flowers down so the bees can get wow, started harvesting and spreading flowers. the pollen. I can't remember the last time I saw such bright colours. We're making great progress. Next, we should place down the saplings you've brought over from Honeycomb Hollow. Please, adventurer, Amazing. I see saplings in the areas yeah, I've already down feels the so much cleaner. Oh, I can't wait until they're fully grown. However, I don't think the bees came quick enough. I've just been informed that one of the villagers has become rather ill. I've heard rumours that a honey bottle can cure poison and illness. Could you gather some using this glass bottle? I'm going into the village to see them now. Is that honey? Will that really help? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Ah. <laughs> wow, well, I can't believe it works. I feel much better already. Thank you so much. 
incredible! You're a true hero, adventurer. We owe you big time. We want you to know that you're welcome to make this island your home. By the way, I've been thinking about my old friend, Bee Scientist. When you get the chance, could you bring him this cake as a way of thanking him for teaching you? I know it's his favourite. Thanks again, hero. You've really saved us all. What's that you have there, friend? Cake? For me? You really came all the way out here to bring this to me? You're a true friend. Not only to me, but also the bees. I've noticed some big changes on Poppy Isle. When you fly back, you'll see just how much impact you and the bees have had. Farewell, friend. Thanks again for the cake. Thank mm -hmm. you.